Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our multi-block madness series. Last episode, we got the blood magic altar crafted up and the sacrificial dagger with the bone sword. I think I screwed up one recipe or something like that. There was an easier way to do it than I did. Was it? Maybe it was the mending moss. I should have done that or something like that um but anyway we got it moss is pretty easy to craft up but uh yeah uh, i think we'll continue progressing a little bit today um, i do want to take a look at the simple storage mod um, but I think I will do that next episode. Today, uh, we're going to continue with the Blood Altar. I just crafted it up, so uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do with that uh, today. Now, obviously, I'm not going to leave it right here, but uh, for now, and Tier 2, when we just have the 8 Ruins, uh, we can leave it right here. But I think I'm probably going to put it like over here. I don't know what I'm thinking. Once I get around to flattening that out because who doesn't love just a nice flat flat base and uh yeah so we need we'll do this um i was debating whether i wanted to do mobs or self-sacrifice now i don't know let me check out the the runes really quick all right imbued wait what is that that gets us four reinforced what that's just apprentice i'm assuming it doesn't use the dagger of sacrifice hmm all right that looks like an easier kind of recipe for runes of sacrifice about and there's runes of self sacrifice. Interesting. Like that's that's easier than that, right? I'm guessing, especially that because that. Oh, I thought that said imbued. Didn't that say imbued? I could have sworn that said imbued. Anyway, uh, so I usually do the um. I usually do self-sacrifice just because I get tired of building mob farms but maybe in this one we will do a mob farm I don't know I haven't really decided yet but first thing we need to do is craft up a weak uh, blood orb and I do know that is yeah the Naga scale so that Now the one nice thing about a mob farm is you don't have to worry about regen. Wait, that seems way higher than... Is uh, life essence from... <laughs> is life essence from the dagger like higher than normal? I wasn't even paying attention. All right, there's 3,800. Let me grab that out. Let's also do that. All right, probably shouldn't have done that with so little health, but all right. So there is our weak blood orb. It is attached to me. Um, also, no, that's night vision, isn't it? That's not. What was that? There was some fluid that gives like crazy regen. We had it in uh, E2E. I don't know if it's in this one. It was in... Uh... Oh, let me let me look that up really quick. I want to know if that biome. I can't remember. It was. Uh, oh, I don't remember the name of the uh, the fluid. Let me look that up really quick. All right, that was from biomes of plenty hot spring water. Unfortunately, it does not exist in this pack because uh, I don't think we have biomes of plenty actually installed. So virtually we can't do that. But I was looking at other options of possibly getting some regen um, for our future blood altar needs. But I think for now, actually, <laughs> I think all we need is the, uh, we just needed the, um, the weak blood orb actually. 
for crafting up. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can craft up, but uh, I'm a Tartaric Will. Interesting. That Blood Arsenal mod has some pretty cool add-ons to Blood Magic. Uh, yeah, Flight Engineering Blocks. I guess that is the next kind of thing we need to craft up. Uh, this is all just vanilla stuff. We can craft that up. The engineering that is just makes stuff cheaper. And we can easily craft that up with what we have. We did wood fences. It's such a strange, such a strange thing to have in the recipes. I don't know. Using fences to craft stuff up, it just feels kind of weird. Plus, you get three from the thing, and then you only use one. <laughs> and we know my feelings on recipes that use just part of that. Got me nuts. Uh, that, that, and yeah. Easy enough. All right, we need not projectiles, circuits, no crafting components. Is that the one we needed? What's the one for? Oh, apparently we. Yeah, crafting components. It is metal press, common. There it is. What's that one? Electrum, Invar, Constantin, Lapis, Paper. All right. So, I mean, you need the Tier 2 metals. Not uh, too crazy, Invar. I just actually have them all there. We should have enough Lapis. Also, I just noticed the Mystical Agriculture. I haven't really looked into crafting up more of those, to be honest. There. We should kind of look into possibly getting some seeds going for more complicated things. We do have the tier 6, wherever it is, I don't remember. Yeah, we have the tier 6 crafting seed, which you can either use for the tier 6 or you can get two tier 5s. And then with the tier 5s, you can get, you know, four of the tier 4s, eight... Blah, 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 so on and so forth. So we can pick and choose which ones we want. Um, so that is definitely something to look at. But uh, I think, I guess we're Squeezer the Crusher. Is that... Uh... I like to know why we are doing things. All right, so there's multiple recipes. Obviously, we don't have Tech Reborn yet. Pressurizer, we don't have that. So... That is how we get blank runes. All right, so that's what we're working towards. So we need to set up the industrial squeezer and the crusher. Um, and that starts with light engineering blocks. Also, we should craft up the immersive book. What's the name of it? Engineer's manual. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty intuitive name for a book is it actually is it in the um oh where did i put that i got that from a quest by the way if you are just looking for the first time uh oh man where did i put there akashic tomb that's what i was looking for yeah all right so it does have that in it um curious we need the crusher and the squeezer, was it? Is that? Yeah, crusher and the squeezer. Um, I was curious how many light engineering. Yeah, we're going to have to craft up a whole bunch. So we're probably going to... But no. I don't think that's the one we wanted, was it? Oh, I guess it is the crusher. Yeah, yeah. We do need the crusher. So I actually need, we need 10 light engineering in that, and the squeezer requires two. So we need 12, 12 light engineering blocks. So as I'm crafting these up, I want to do 12 because we're going to need those. All right. So we do know iron components 
not a problem. Um, question is, we can do a one-to-one. -one. Do we want... No, I was debating whether to get um, like the metal press. I don't think we need that. Um, I can always get plates from here. I can get plates from there. Don't know if it's going to be necessary. I don't know. Maybe in the future, but uh, we have bronze, constant Ardite. Have we gotten Ardite yet? Um, that is a good question. All right. Now that I'm looking at that. Okay. We have a deer. A deer. We have a gear mold, so we'll do that in there. So that requires four um, Ardite. Ardites. Another. I, do, I can't remember if I've gotten. Did I find any Ardite? I don't think I did. No. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to go get some Ardite. Like I said, we have to do this four times. So I need 16 Ardites, which kind of is. Assuming I can, can we double this? Yes, we can double it in the high oven, it looks like. All right, so I need to find that. Uh, I do have a scanner, so we can always. Ooh, do we have any orichalcum? I might want to keep one orichalcum. Okay, I have some. Uh, so we can save that. Let me actually the scanner because you need to so I don't have to craft up multiple scanner modules not that they're overly difficult but uh, let me go find some yeah let me go find some Ardite okay we are back I've managed to pillar down with a ladder and uh, down to Y level 50, and I was just digging out, and we found some ore. So there we go. We will put that in there, and oh wow! All right, that's a big, it's a big vein. Well, that's not. Too unsurprising all the veins in this mod pack are pretty big uh but i don't know what i was expecting i was thinking it was i don't know it looks like we're getting pyrite and ardite and we're pissing off some pigment it sounds like which uh yeah i guess we are oh god i didn't realize i was so out in the open here That makes me a little nervous. <laughs> and we got spiders and all sorts of stuff. I thought I was I thought I was farther down than this actually. I thought I was underneath the thing when I pillared down. Whoops. Alright, but there we go. So there is our Ardite. I don't know. We're getting pyrite. Which isn't exactly what we need. But, uh, all right, I guess I will just finish doing this with those angry pigmen, angry spiders, all sorts of craziness. I may actually fill her down. Maybe I'll keep going down. Yeah, maybe I'll go down to that one, just so it's a little more in the thing. I, uh... Yeah, I picked 50 because I was like, eh, that's a little bit low. I could go even farther down. Maybe I'll just keep going down. Okay, we are back. I'm just cleaning up my inventory a little bit. Now, I'm trying something new, and that is Molten Embers. We were running low on lava, and I did notice it has a temperature when I looked that up. The temperature, and well, that's obviously in Kelvin. This is in Celsius, um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that is much hotter. I don't know if it, uh, d like, uh, 
I'm not sure if it, uh, I'm gonna, what am I trying to say? I don't know if it smelts faster, but uh, that's why I wanted to check it out. For a second, I was like, did that just destroy the bucket? But no, I have a thing down there. Also, I'm so used to, oh, look at that. There apparently was a quest for it somewhere. Is that in like the random things? No, where is that quest? Is that all the way back here? No, that was worms. There it is. And we get some ember crystals. So I did see that, uh, but never got around to actually trying it out. Um, unfortunately, we do have lava in there, and I don't think I'm like I don't know how to get that out. Actually, can I? Um, do I have? Pretty sure. That did something with the lighting. Not quite sure what, but it did something with the lighting. Uh, but let's get that lit up. Um, tank. That's what I was, I was like. I'm pretty sure I don't have tanks in this, do I? Not yet. The Ender IO tanks. Iron. Oh. Well, that's... That's easy to make. Glass and four iron? Is that all that requires? Totally grabbed too much iron, but... Four bars, not... I know the bars are a bit more annoying than vanilla. Alright, well, I didn't realize that was just a vanilla recipe. <laughs> and look at that. There is a quest for that as well. Alright, there we go. Man, these things are so useful. I'm just going to avoid that. I don't know what I'm going to do with uh, half a bucket of lava. So, there we go. Apparently, embers floats. <laughs> <clears throat> so, there we go. Is that not... Hmm. That's a bit odd, right? <clears throat> Let me, um, man, I don't even know what to throw in there. All right. Well, it's working. It's just not showing up on there. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> but, hey, it seems to work. <clears throat> I wonder if it, uh, I wonder if it lasts longer or what. I do not know. It just says it's hot. All right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, we got that. I think I had some over here. Yep. Got those. I think I have two. Yep. Two in there. Bronze. Why didn't I make... That was a bit silly. I just uh, smelted up a whole bunch of bronze and turned it into ingots. I don't know why I needed to turn them into that. Now, I don't remember how fast... Oh, there it popped up. All right, so it is using it. 6,000 degrees Celsius. So, like I said, don't know if it's going faster or what, but... There we go. So there is those. And last but not least is the plates. I do need 16 iron plates. Um, yeah, I mean, I can do... Man, I can't wait. That's nine ingots to five plates. That's a terrible ratio. Yeah, I can't wait to get machines to do it. But uh, I guess for now we'll just use hammers. I can probably get diamond hammers and stuff, which would be better. LOL. I could have put the lava in there. <laughs> uh, I'm so bad about doing stuff like that. I void it, and then three seconds later, I'm like, oh, I could have used it here. Wait. I need more. I need... I need 16 of those. I actually need... Oh, I need to smelt more iron i have iron i just haven't got around to or doubling it um i could do it in there but 
That's a bit annoying. You can only do one in, at a time. Also, don't know if we can expand that. I don't know if that's actually a thing. So basically, I've just been using my embers to ore double until we can get some machines. I have this all set up. It works fine. I'll use some more ember in here. Yeah. It was almost full, but yeah, we'll put that in there. All right. So there is 16. That's really funny that I totally wasted that lava and I could have just put it in there. All right. That's not right. There we go. What is the... It's just an ingot? Yes. There we go. 16 iron mechanical components. Yay! And the bronze. All right. Uh, it is kind of weird using weak blood orbs to make a immersive engineering block, but uh, that is just how it is when you play expert mod packs. I'm going to... That was bugging me in there. Also... Let me throw this in my kind of tool chest. All right, we got our light engineering blocks. Right click the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, for a second, I thought it was telling me to like right click on the multi block with the weak blood orb to form it. Uh, but that is usually the immersive engineering hammer. All right, so I guess that means, yeah. I just need to work on all this stuff. Wooden barrel, fluid pipes, all that stuff is relatively easy. Redstone engineering block. Redstone gear, bronze gear. Well, that's just redstone and gold. So, I mean, might as well. Is there any reason not to use that? I don't think so. Because that will do both recipes. All right. So got a little bit of figuring out here. Although this is actually not. We don't have any of the heavy engineering blocks. We don't have to craft up. Those are the usually the annoying ones. And uh, as we thought, they are indeed annoying. <laughs> so uh, we don't need those right now. So that's cool. Also, where the heck am I going to build these? They are rather large. I guess back here. Might have to clear out an area. So, got some stuff to do. Got some things to craft up. We will be back. Okay, I think, I think I got everything pretty much ready here. I am going to be some insulated edel v wires because i think that's going to be easiest uh, to power these machines instead of crafting up more conduits i don't know we'll see though i had the i had the, f the fibers or the industrial fibers or whatever they were so that one was that i think i think they're just one each um i kind of laid them out so i could keep track of Keep track of everything that should be both yes all right cool all right i haven't looked at i have no idea what those do i haven't looked at this all right i'm not gonna take that quite yet this is probably for the yeah this is the crusher right yeah Um, do we want the projector? Glass, iron, treated planks, not a problem. Glowstone, two iron plates. Eh, let's craft up this thing. Uh, because not everyone has seen it. Glass plane. Plates. And I have all my 
have everything for it. Alright, also I threw a hopper and a thing down there. I run out of... Yeah, this thing is like tearing through my ember. Uh, I keep meaning to look into... There's a there's something you can craft up that you get better ratio for your ember, I think. But uh, I haven't... I keep thinking, I'm like, well, I'm not going to use this much more. Um, especially now that we're crafting up a crusher. I right, totally forgot what I was just doing. Um, right. That lantern thing. We can see it. All right. Lantern. Also, these act as a light source, don't they? Assuming they do. Yeah. Well, they don't glow. I thought they would have glowed. I am disappoint. That one kind of goes in there. All right. Did we get that? Everything? No. One piece of glass. All right. Projector. Now, does this work with the Akashic Tomb? I'm assuming it probably does. Uh, so, Squeezer? Yeah, that's the one we want. Then you do this, right? Yes. Alright, cool. Alright, so we're going to do it over here, I guess. I think we'll do the Squeezer here. I think right there works. And always... I can always move this stuff if I decide I don't like this location. Yep, it's uh pretty easy with the section thing on it. Unfortunately, the <laughs> not doesn't really matter, but uh, this is gonna put this redstone in that slot, so it kind of screws up my. <laughs> Having them separate so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I didn't think that was going to... Do I have a crescent? You know what? Let me craft up that crescent hammer really quick. I don't think I have one yet. And if I do... Oh well. Wait, do I already have it? Oh, I do. Wait, no I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> Well, we have an extra one, just in case. I don't know what I... Nope, nope. There we go. I don't know what I was looking for on the... I thought I made one. Alright, there we go. That is everything. There we go. And, uh, there is... That. All right, cool. Next one, we need the crusher. And this one is quite a bit bigger. There we go. It just makes it so much easier. And then I do like how that works with the Akashic Tomb. Must be the way it kind of works. Is that the front? I don't know. Let's just get it built and... I'm going to go ahead and say that the industrial engineering, immersive engineering multi-blocks are the, <laughs> the coolest looking multi-blocks in modded Minecraft, I think. At least from my experience. I just think they look so cool. I know some people think like, oh, that doesn't look very Minecraft-y, but eh. see there these are actually those are actually easier to craft up than I yeah they're easier to craft up than I was thinking they would be all right so crusher that is the 
power right there, I believe. And I think that is, no, power on top of there. All right, so I do need to get these. I think that's the power. Is that the power? No, this is the power. Um, all right, I think I'm going to do, kind of just fell in my, one to one. Do I have Yeah. Okay, I do have enough. I was just figuring out if I had oh I don't have relays. No. I'll be the relay, terracotta. Do I have terracotta? We will in a second. I'll be wire relay. That was a quest. Actually, I'm just going to do it. I think I should be able to reach. Could be wrong, though. There. There. And I don't know if that's going to be able to. I think that might be blocked by the. You put that there. Is that blocked? No, it isn't. All right, cool. Is that blocked? Oh. No, it's too far away. <laughs> uh, no. All right. Go. Oh, we can do this. No, I don't have another wire. No. No, get out of the way. All right, I'm running out of time here. I wanted to get this crafted up before I finished. All right, I just crafted up a few more wires. I was not prepared. There we go. So they are getting power. And uh, the Crusher, I believe, I'm assuming that will or double. Um, and uh, we need to feed it in the top. Should turn on if I did this correctly. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there is that. And it dumps it out in front. But uh, that is ore doubling for us, basically. Um, I, I think, I don't know. I, is this how I'm going to do all my ore doubling until I get, you know, single block machines? I don't know. The one nice thing about the embers, I'm totally standing on the thing. Uh, the one nice thing about embers is... It's melted as well, whereas this doesn't. Also, if you stand in that, you take damage. Yeah. Also, as we can see, I'm not actually feeding in enough power. That's interesting. But, uh, yeah, we need these machines to... We need these machines to move on. Okay. Good it keeps working even though I am not feeding it enough energy. It's just a bit slower. Um, but we need these machines for that. The blank rooms. So we need crush slates and the crush slates I'm assuming we get from the grinder. Yes, depending on the slate. So one reinforced is one rune. You can do smaller or bigger if you want. Basically, ever how much you want to feed it. That's kind of cool. I like that mechanic. And then uh, we squeeze that in the industrial squeezer to get the black runes. Ooh, we need seared stone as well. But 
that shouldn't be an issue with that. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. We'll look into that in more in the next episode. Or we might take a minor break from progression and check out simple storage. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool as well. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.